Hi, my lovelies. So I've got a couple here to do for you. A couple of um, reacts to do tonight for you guys. Let me just make this bigger for me. Okay, let's get into it. This one is called Surprising My Husband for His Birthday. Spare me. Um, <laughs> so it's four years ago. Let's watch. So for this segment of the vlog, I have been getting so many requests to do like how I do my makeup to get it to stay on under a mask. So I'm going to show you guys. Bullshit. She'd never probably got one question asked her. And I, we're not here for that. So I'm going to forward. God, same shit. Yeah. Okay. Just things that they think will kind of like fit your face and your style. All right. And I also love the affordability. They start at $95, including the prescription lenses. And you get to try these for five days. And they're... You know, out of everything that she shills on her channel, I think this is the best deal. Those glasses. Like, not those, literally, those glasses. I mean, the glasses... Um, the deal that you can get with those glasses and they do have really nice like different styles not so much on her but they do have some nice styles that you can choose from and you can try them and send it back and i get a headache but then again you could also walk into the optometrist and just try them on i don't really have anything i love i'm like trying to shield the ring light i don't think i have anything like this um but they kind of hit my cheeks so that's a no if they don't have the little nose piece i'm pretty picky which is again why i like she did the at-home try-on kit. The quality of these are great as well. Like I said, me. Gee, she was even skinnier here. I know we're hitting her cheeks. Minyar. Ooh, wow. These are kind of, are, are these kind of a vibe? I'm looking at the mirror right here. I think they're kind of a vibe. I God, she talks a lot in this, isn't she? About the bloody glasses. Jesus what? Christ. Um, Take care of your eyes, yes. Um, I don't know what's up for the rest of the night. I might just see you guys in the morning. Okay. Hey! Here with this queen. i um, very excited to be hanging out with Gabby today. She is gonna help me prep for Yar's birthday tomorrow. Yes. So we're gonna go to Party City and we're gonna get some balloons and stuff. Gabby just finished her class at home. Gotta love Zoom college. How's that going? It's it's all right. Do you have any <laughs> updates for them? They haven't seen you in a while. Nothing really. I mean, living life. But other than that, just like you know, living, living the dream, doing some fall stuff, went apple picking, going to like corn maze this weekend. Fun. Yeah. I hate that it's a heat wave right now. It's, like, oh, it's bothering me. It's like eighty. It's been perfect fall weather, and the last day or two in the next few days are gonna be like eighty. Well, that's the one. The one thing I like when I move is that I know what the weather's going to be. It's we, not fickle. We announced it, right? That you're moving to Florida next year? I said it we announced on it my in birthday that video. thing. Yeah. I said that was my plans when okay. I gave my life update. I couldn't remember if we announced it that or not. That is my plan. Next, I'll be here for like one more full year. Yeah. Approximately. So I'm enjoying my time with Gabby. We're both being very, very cautious with... Oh, she makes me sick. ...time with her before she moves. Yeah. So we're both being very, very careful. Half this vlog is gone. The fuck happened to it? It was about makeup and glasses um, and yeah. So we're gonna get some lunch first. So we're gonna sit outside and have agree. lunch. Do you have your mask? I do. All right. It's Disney. Aww. Guys, look at my cute mask. Hold on, I'll put it on. It's from Etsy. Yeah, I don't know where it's from though. My mom, and my sister bought it. Cute. Oh, with the little Eiffel Towers. That's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she she literally asked for the camera and wanted to vlog. Yeah. It's been a while. Hey guys. <laughs> How's everyone? Mm. Living in these times. <laughs> oh my okay, god. Okay, there's this man. We're, we're, we're out. Her laugh. Out running errands because we're getting ready. We just had some lunch. It's like a pig that's squealing. That's what it sounds like. A pig squeal. Very good. I ate way too many nachos. Because, you know, I wanted nachos for myself today. You know, that's what I do. We had fun. Yeah. It was very good. Yeah. 
Um, so now we're going to get stuff for Yarmin's birthday, and we're sitting at a light. Um, we're near like a plaza that has um, a party city, so we're going there, and <laughs> there's this man walking across the street, and it's like the whole thing, like the mask under the chin look, and I literally looked at him. Well, he didn't see me. I looked at him from afar, and he was just like, "Yo, work it, bro." <laughs> You just like gave him the best ego. Yes, boost. I like put my finger, like pointed out there at him, and was like, "Yeah, work it." You were like, "You go, dude." Yeah, like, I, I was don't like, even know what you said, but it's amazing. I don't know what I said either. Oh wow! Sorry, guys. Did I miss something there? Was that meant to be funny? This is quite uh, white balanced out. Why is this not? <laughs> Why does this look so weird? Oh no! Hello. I think about Halloween. Oh yes. Which isn't even a thing. No. Like, I'm not buying a costume or making one. I just saw that they just put out um, CDC guidelines for Thanksgiving. Oh, for Thanksgiving? What did they say? Uh, I don't know. I didn't read the article yet. Oh, I, need to, I need to read that. Well, it's time to set up the surprise he's up in bed already. Oh, God, she makes me sick. It's like she's surprising her. Uh, look at the present. Look at the present, how big, how big he's talking about trying to buy your love for someone. Sorry, that's just what I see in this. It really is. Trying to buy your love for somebody. I hated those lights. I hated those beads. Oh, God, my stomach is still going, guys. I'm sorry if you can hear her rumbling. Oh, God, she's still going with it. Oh my god. So I think she did this while he was asleep and then the next morning she woke him up and uh, told him to come down and she surprised him with, I don't know, 500 presents. <laughs> Who knows how freaking many she bought him. Look at her. Oh gosh. Oh, I hate that light fitting. I really do. Oh, God, that would have been fun, all that um, sparkle confetti, cleaning that up later. She really is a child. She really, really is a child, honestly. Seven. Everything still looks good down here. Um, I also forgot I bought these three little blow-up balloons at the Christmas tree shop with my mom that spell YAR, so I'll show you. Cute. Oh my god, no. I just came No, they're not cute. They look fucking deflated and sad. They don't look cute, no. Make sure everything is still good, like nothing fell, so. Yay. Okay, Bubba, you can come down. Oh, okay, Bubby, you can come down. He's four years old. I'll see his fake um, shocked expression. <laughs> Welcome to your birthday. Happy birthday. Enter. She's so annoying. Birthday <laughs> For a minute there, I thought I was going to try and lift her. It's like you know me. Oh my god. This is Christmas. Oh, see, there was something here. This was four years ago, guys. There is nothing like that happening now. Last year before 29. Before 30. Oh my goodness, what's that big box? Exactly. Okay, guys, so it was a gaming chair. Since the last clip you saw. We both sat and opened his gifts, which he loved. We just did that privately. And we went and had breakfast at our favorite diner. Put your arm down. Put your fucking arm down. See, she is such a liar. She used to say this was always about this because she was wearing um, a black um, a top underneath and her arm would rub on it. But no, it's just constantly black there. Constantly. Or maybe not black, but gray. 
And then I just did a Peloton ride, and he just did a Peloton ride. It's his first time on the Peloton, and it is iconic to watch. Cause See, she looks a bit sweaty here. That's, that's when she was actually doing well on the Peloton. <laughs> anyway, um, I just got in my 45 minutes. I'm doing a challenge on my second Instagram right now. Before she gave up on it. This, like, workout challenge and stuff. So I'm going to go take a shower, and then we're going to head out to his birthday surprise. I have an activity planned, and then I have a surprise dinner planned at his favorite restaurant. All right, guys, so we are on the road. Yeah, and I'm sure you love the food there, too. Oh, sorry, it's a little sunned out. Um, <clears throat> Where's the screen? Right here. Oh, you can't even. Wow. Oh, it's because I have glasses on. <laughs> you have like... sunglasses on. So... Um, I put the <laughs> this was supposed to be like a whole surprise situation. I put it in the GPS. I haven't told him anything. You guys know Yarman's obsessed with F1, racing, cars. Um, he has like a literal simulation thing at home where he like does racing. So I found this like really cool um, indoor go karting place, and it seems like super super legit. So I put the thing in the GPS. What the fuck does that mean? Super super legit. It either exists or it doesn't. Yes, because I didn't want him to see because he is driving, but he can't see like where it goes. And then his freaking Apple Watch, <laughs> his freaking Apple Watch said R1 Racing. And he was on the phone with his aunt on speaker and he like looks, he goes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like he was so excited. So he's excited. He's happy. Yeah. Um, but yeah literally like that exactly like that i don't know how much i'll be able to vlog while we're like racing in the cars like i don't think i we'll should be have able brought to. the gopros ah like, that would have been cool but i didn't, he didn't know what we were doing i didn't know where we were going i was trying to like he was like can you just tell me, me? and i'm like me. no but we're only eight minutes away so i guess the surprise isn't like too ruined no 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 i'm super excited It'll be fun. I actually got us the package too that had axe throwing. I found out just now that Yarman has been wanting to come here for the last few years. Wow, this is legit. And this is the first time he ever got to go. It Dude, looks too. Like, I don't know. Yesterday I oh. went to uh, Gabby. It was having some issues. I can't. I can't. When she, when she touches him, it's just awkward. Well, if you just leave it on auto, it does everything for you. I didn't you. know I turned it off. How handsome are you? Yeah. How handsome is this man? He's 29 oh today. Oh. Old. She oh. just literally cannot believe that she has a man. She literally cannot believe it. Yeah, look how fun. Super legit. Let's do it. Let's do it. I got a big yes. head. Guys, you oh do. I couldn't record out there. There's you certainly do have a big head. That's the guy working. We were the only two people here. He must have a fun job. <laughs> oh my god, we were the only two people racing. It was like my respect for F1 drivers. My, did it make you nauseous? No. I'm a little punk. No, but remember when we did the Porsche driving experience? You sweaty. I got nauseous. Like, yeah, because you're getting thrown like from side to side just driving. Oh my god, you, he passed me twice. You lapped me twice. Maybe three times. Twice, to be <laughs> Alright, not to be cruel, but she's got enough padding. It's not going to hurt her. This is okay, great, I, though. I passed her two times. I passed her two times. Passed her. <laughs> uh, we'll just say that. <laughs> guys, this place is awesome. If you guys are in New England, R1. Yeah, it looks thrilling. Indoor carding. Now we're going over to Axe Throw over there, but it's awesome being here on like a week. I don't trip. mind that. I've always wanted to try the Axe Throwing thing day when there's yeah. no one here what a great birthday day <laughs> this is so your vibe like guys honestly i thought this was going to be like low-key go-karting <laughs> we had to watch a safety video we had to wear helmets and neck guards there's literally like a mechanics shop like this is like this is very legit oh he's having a blast that guy oh, just gets yeah, showing us around look at look at the view that we're getting Look at the freaking view. To race around. Yeah, yeah. If no one's racing. He's practicing his craft. Oh, well, this is. Oh, he's good. Oh, you need to work at a place like this. Yeah, keep the camera on you. Don't don't show us what's going on. I want Papa to be an F1 driver. Papa, uh, talk about daddy. You're having daddy issues. So, the Armin's never axe thrown. Oh, this is amazing. Hi, good. How are you? This is so dope. Alright, 
practicing time. We just got instructions. Question is, I have to um, mute that. Sorry, guys. Otherwise, it's going to give me a strike for the music. Oh my god, she is fucking hopeless. So is he. <laughs> Mm, that's not bad. Oh, it's good too. That is. Oh. This one I call my G-rated game. Okay. So you're gonna start here. Okay, I just did a little switcheroo in the car. Um, I threw on this cute little dress from. It's ugly. It's not cute. It's just fucking ugly. It's an old lady dress. Sorry. And the Miranda fire earrings are ugly. Nordstrom. I think the brand is Leaf. Um, and I just fixed my hair. No, you didn't. It looks shocking. And touched up my makeup because when we went in the car with the helmet, you had to put on. So it's sweaty. She got a dinner like that. On like this mask thing. It's called the. Uh... I knew he would knew the name of it. She she knew he would knew the name of it. That right there is fantastic English. She knew he would knew the name of it. You fucking idiot. It's called a head sock. Yeah, it looked like a head sock. It looked like what they wore to like a sword fight in the medieval times. So we're starving. We didn't have I'm not. <laughs> You're certainly not. Lunch. Our breakfast was really big when we went out. So we're heading to dinner now. He found out where we're going for dinner. <laughs> you just cannot be surprised, can you? Are you excited? You look good in that dress. Oh, I reckon he, she was, he was told to say that. There was a bit of a jump cut there. <laughs> Very sweet. He is out here making me blush every damn day. Guys, we're at dinner. Spare me. And we have a subscriber here, Sarah. <laughs> Y'all, Sarah brought us a piece of cheesecake. Uh, that was so nice. It's, what did she say? Mango passion fruit? Coconut something? Bought us or bought you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> try it, boo. I was too busy staring at it because it looks so, so good. It's so pretty. Give, right. it, give it a try, babe. Okay. Here we go. And I love cheesecake. I know you do. This is exciting. Oh. That was so nice. Oh, it hit right, didn't it? Mm -hmm. That was so freaking sweet. Shout out, Sarah. Love it's you like so much. Cheesecake, coconut, and passion. Yeah. It's basically. I'm going to end it here because I really need oh, I was going to say, not off camera. She's trying to be sexy there. We spent the rest of the night off camera to enjoy the rest of your birthday. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Oh, please. I'm just thinking about it once. It makes me want to throw up. All right. Let me get rid of this. And let me grab a new here. Another one. There was another one I was going to do here. Oh, where is it? Um, where is it? There was one. Oh, here we go. Hang on. There's one right here. The hardest part since the target run and the hardest part since surgery. So this should be bloody interesting. We were looking forward to see what her hardest part after surgery was. Oh, she looks bad. Bad. Sorry, guys, but she does look bad. So even hotter. Like, I know. But I got this at Walmart. It is so soft and cozy. Like, it's just the best. <laughs> so if you want. Oh, get a fucking tissue. Get a fucking tissue, you pig. A comfy, cozy Christmas nightgown. Walmart baby. So good morning vlogmas. How are we doing? I just thought I'd say hello. My god the bloating. It's, it was out of control here. Really out of control. Well I do my No. You, you guys know I don't do her face washing. I can't. I just cannot do her face washing. It just disgusts me for some reason. Okay. She's uh, washed it off. <laughs> Needed for a little bit. I need to head to Lush because I'm almost out of my tea tree toner now. Because I really love this toner. It's 
nice and simple. It makes my skin feel really, really clean. Um, yeah, I use it morning and night. So I've been using that and then I'm looking at this giant tub. So yeah, Vanny Cream Moisturizing Cream for sensitive skin and it's a huge tub. I don't understand why she's laughing. What's so funny about it? It's the same tub I have with my vitamin E cream. What's so funny about it? Huge tub. Yeah, because you have a <laughs> huge you? fucking face and huge body. What do you what do you want? Using it for a couple days, but um you can also use it on your body. I will yeah, say after cool. I did that skin cuticles mask the other day, most of those act like period pimples went way down. Like so good, so good, but you know, as I go into like summer months next year, I'll probably start incorporating this like or if I start to break out pretty bad again, I'll use this like every few days. I'm gonna try them. I just got it on because when I first got it, I was in, um I just got very hydrating. All right. You talk so much freaking crap. Anyway, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Let's start this day. Are right, you guys heading on a little Target run? Um, I just got like a random plethora. Keep some tissues in your bloody car of things that we need and you know instead of doing my usual target pickup i'm like let's go in the store and do like a legitimate target run um <laughs> we need like toilet paper i need to get more crystallite because that is what i've been living on you know i love regular water and i also drink a lot of hint water i fell in love with this back at my old job where we had hit water and it's so funny because at first i tasted it i'm like this is gross like i expected it to be like fruit 2o vibes like just super flavorful uh <laughs> and then over time i just like really loved it and so i've we went to bj's and we bought a ton of like bulk drinks because you know i'm just trying to keep my hydration up and that's like super important and you know my nutritionist recommends like hint water for 2o uh gatorade zero vitamin water zero so i bought those and they also had fruit 2o which took me back so you listen to all the water stuff but everything else went in one ear and out the other didn't listen to any of that <laughs> and that was also on my recommended beverage list so i'm like oh i'm gonna get some fruit 2o as well yay fruit 2o <laughs> and then when i had it i'm like it just it's so sweet compared to hint water i was like <laughs> it's kind of funny how you just get used to this but um i just love hint water you'll have to let me know if you like it i feel like just waiting for her to hear to hear what the hardest part is for her my mom doesn't like it she says it tastes like watered down kool-aid <laughs> i'm like that's not a horrible way to describe it but i just really like it it's like it just has an essence of a fruit flavor you know what i mean yeah that noise that you can hear is from her camera she has it sitting on her dash thing and i think it's just wobbling if that makes any sense um but the pineapple and the cherry are my favorite flavors and the blackberry is really good the first one i loved was the watermelon am i on like a stupid tangent right now i am sorry uh so i have a list on my phone sorry guys i'm not forwarding it because i just want to hear what what she's going on about like about the I don't want to have to rewind it if I miss it. Of things that we need. I put on my Fabletics puffer because it's like really cold, but then I got hot. Does anyone else like in the car? I'm just like, I just don't want my coat on in the car. It's just the worst. It's just like constrictive and hot because I like to put my butt warmer on in the car, but then with the coat, it's just too much. I'm in a very good mood. Vlogmas puts me in a very good mood. Um, and also a little pro, pro tip for when you're at like the store grocery shopping or whatever. Um, I would highly recommend this. I saw it, I think on TikTok a while ago. Uh, put, like I take a picture of the list we have on our fridge uh, and I take a picture of it <laughs> and I put it as my phone background while I'm shopping. So like I don't have to open that, open my phone and close my phone. Keep the oh, it's just killing me. Cheese, of course. She thinks it's better than the other one because it's organic. Needless to say, she um, doesn't have much salt in there. She doesn't make it herself.
Oh, she finally found. Remember, she was looking for those this year. She she bought the ones that you had to put together, and she almost lost it. <laughs> God forbid she do it. Aloe infused socks. Why would you want aloe vera infused socks? Seriously. Candy cane chapsticks. Oh, a child. It's like when I used to take my little niece, when they were little, my nieces shopping. She really has a baby brain. I love that. I love when she shows the floor. God forbid she show us her surroundings or where she is. I hate those pants. Hate her nails. <laughs> that is it for our Target run. Uh, I'm excited. I was able to get all of Yarman's stocking done. I ordered some stuff from Uncommon Goods, but I also, you know, you got to get the usual, like the cute little candy candy canes with the candy in it and just some cute little snacks for in the stocking so I just went ahead and grabbed those because I'm saying run and get your stocking stuffers now because I swear towards like the middle to end of the month it is so picked over and you're gonna have to pay more at like CVS or Walgreens I'm saying it's always like just a little bit more expensive there they had everything I needed, which is great. And I didn't even know I had um, in my Target Circle, I had $10 off of 50. Woo! So we did use that. It's little things that get me hyped. <laughs> so hopefully you guys don't mind doing some ordinary things with me throughout Vlogmas. I mean, how many years have we been doing Vlogmas now? I don't even remember. Like four or five. And you guys see him too. Oh, this year seems to have been the worst. I'm sorry, not this year. Last year. Really enjoy just like living life with me it doesn't have to be anything super exciting i do have a lot of really fun christmasy things planned so that'll be really fun but like on the typical day to day it'll be a lot of us just like running errands cleaning and you know living my very ordinary pace <laughs> loved it and so i've we went to bj's and we bought a ton of like oh, gosh, trying to fold it <laughs> one for mcdonald's just focusing on the good you know focusing on the good and how good i'm feeling like look that bad like i because i really have a lot of drinks that i really love okay i may have missed it see what happens Living when life with me it doesn't have to be anything super exciting i do have a lot of really fun christmasy things planned so that'll be really fun but like on the typical day to day it'll be a lot of us just like running errands cleaning and you know, living my very ordinary basic life. But again, I do have a lot of Christmas fun stuff planned, so. Oh, I do. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm driving by McDonald's. I miss you. I miss the Diet Coke. They're so bad. That has by far been the hardest part of the surgery. Oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. That is the hardest part of her surgery. I'm here waiting for this big fucking revelation. Like she can't eat her favorite this or can't eat her favorite that or this won't go down or I'm uncomfortable doing this or something. Something, you know, worthy of listening to. This is what it's about. Fuck. Oh, like this is just full transparency, vulnerable and like being on my period maybe the cravings are worse i don't know but like well, I, you can have them now there's nothing wrong with you having that now but you're having everything else under the sun so you might as well have that i think they are because i feel like on the other typical days like i haven't missed diet coke that bad like i because i really have a lot of drinks that i really love but like today she just drinks now is all fizzy drinks anyway so she may as well drink a diet coke I miss Diet Coke so bad. Like, just that crispy bubbliness. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. I seriously thought it was going to be something of, you know, substantial substance. One's from McDonald's. Just focusing on the good, you know? Focusing on the good and how good I'm feeling. Like, even a lot of you guys said you can already see me glowing. Some of you guys have said, like, my Ooh, not anymore. My mental health is already feeling better, and that's... Not anymore. 
obviously worth giving up Diet Coke. <laughs> For now, anyway. Exactly. Tell me she hasn't had it off the camera. Um, also, I would love to hear from you guys if you've had weight loss surgery about gut. Would you really? I don't think you would love to hear from me because you'd be in a fetal position for a week if I spoke to you. Um, because, so I was going through my binder and I didn't see anything about gum, but like I felt like in passing as I was looking up videos on gastric bypass that a lot of people had not been able to chew gum after surgery, like because of the air or something. I'm not really sure. It bloats you. That's why they tell you not to chew it because it bloats you. You get a lot of air in and it just bloats you. Um, so for some reason I got it in my head like I can't chew gum, but I had the call with my nutritionist uh, and I had forgot to ask her, so I actually called back today and she told me that's a good question and she wasn't really sure. And she told me to wait until I was one month out to chew gum, like, and of course make sure it's sugar free, which I always do. But it was just kind of interesting. I was like, I would love to hear what your guys' doctors have said. I mean, mine told me I could chew it after the month mark. Who the fuck talks about chewing gum? How did it even go there? I mean, I have heard down the, the track, but I didn't sit there and <laughs> speak to my surgeon and the dietitian about fucking chewing gum. No, it's just not that important to me. I don't know, it's kind of random, right? So, anyway, let me know if you guys have heard anything about chewing gum after surgery because, I don't know, I've heard mix, mixed things. <laughs> All right, y'all, I threw a little curl in the <gasps> Oh, my God, that looks bad. That looks bad. And her part is not even, like, at a normal part. It's, like, really parted. You know when the men don't have hair and they just do a comb over and they comb it all around? Oh, my God, that looks bad. That looks really bad. The hair, I really like it. No, how can you really like it? What the fuck is wrong with you? But it'll probably fall out. Out. Oh, it's disgusting. It looks horrible. Because I did it with my air wrap and it doesn't usually last unless I use my... Oh, my God, that looks so bad. Curling iron. But we're going to whip up some dinner. This, this is the woman that wanted to be a cosmetologist. You already know what time it is, baby. No, not watching you cook, sorry. That's not happening. Nope, nope, nope. Not watching you cook. Ugh, and he gives it the thumbs up as usual. Watch it. I don't know why we just love it. <laughs> this is the one reality show that Yara is so down for with me. Don't talk with your mouth full. Oh my god. <laughs> We both, so we, we just finished season and we both at the end go. You can barely speak. <laughs> it was the preview for season five. Oh, God. All right, guys, this is it for this one. I thought they may have been a bit more interesting. Sorry. But it is what it is. I only have what I have to work with, and this is all she's given me at the moment. All right, hang on. Let me see what else do I have here. I still can't get over the Diet Coke was the, the hardest thing. The Diet Coke was the bloody hardest thing. I just can't get over that. Uh, let me delete this one so I don't play it again. All right, let's do something random. Okay, this one says... New point in our life. Oh, this one says planning for children, blah, 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 blah. So... Let's watch this one. I think this is when she was doing her DNA. Was this when she was sitting here doing the, um, God, I laughed. Was this the one where she was sitting here decorating cookies or something? Life, right, where kids are coming. Yeah, I thought so. It might be. So she said kids are coming and she looks at him. Sponsoring a part of this video. Good morning, vlog fam. I hope you guys are all having a good morning. Oh, God. That is rough. Sorry, guys, but that is really rough to look at, isn't it? And her hair was darker. Is that when she stuffed her hair up? And she just wanted it to be dark. Must have been. I am just getting up and starting my day. And it's time for me to do a little bit of grooming. I've been a fan of Nair. I don't know, since like... Yeah, sure you have. That's why we've never seen it since 
um, since this. So full of shit. Thanks again to Nair for sponsoring this part of the video. Whoa. Now on to the rest of my video. So. Like that, her decorating here was so much nicer. That's pretty, I love that. It's very, very country-ish. I just love it. We are married. No shit. We are married. Is she fucking serious? And we are at a new point in our life, right? Where kids are coming. We don't know when. Well, we have like a timeline, right? And this is really funny because this came up on my Instagram feed as an ad. And I didn't even know that this existed. Um, it's called Modern Fertility. So I got one and I'm gonna do this Modern Fertility test. And we're gonna send it in and essentially it's a really great way just to like check how you're yeah instead of going to an actual real doctor do it online and send it away fertility is no matter if you're trying to have kids now or later if you just want to be knowledgeable of like where your body's at i didn't even know you could do this kind of thing you know over the mail like i think that's really cool so i got one and Put it this way, if you're really, really serious about it, you wouldn't do it over the mail. You just you just wouldn't. You'd go to the clinic and get it done properly. It's just a blood test. I have been waiting to do it because you have to do it on the third day of your period, fasted in the morning um, for the most accurate results. And it was really cool. It was very personalized. Like I took... Um, this online test where they ask me a bunch of questions. Like if you're on birth control, is your period regular to get the best results? So every single test seems very customized. Um, it makes no sense to me guys. It really makes no sense to me. Unless she's just, she was just scared of going in because she didn't want to hear what the doctor had to tell her. And it seems very- and We all know what he would have said. First thing he would have said to her was to, to lose weight. Very, very cool and futuristic. So I'm just opening up my test here. I have Yarmin here with me because I'm not very good with blood. I know it's like just a little bit of blood. Um, but this is pretty exciting. It comes with everything here that you need for like the little finger pricks. Um, I think these are just like the same little ways my mom would prick her finger for her. Jesus, how many needles are in that bloody thing? It's like there's about 20 of them. Uh, diabetes tests all day, every day. So I, I know what to expect. They even give you a little mailing thing. Little modern fertility thing here. Super cute. Um, and we're just gonna read the instructions. We'll do this together and kind of see. And if I could enter your card to dry, said my food sensitivity, which I was sensitive to coffee, and it's like I don't even drink coffee. Yeah. I don't like coffee. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. You do now. Coffee. But, but that's not like my taste. But isn't that funny though? They even give you band-aids. So, oh my God. Thank you so much. Love ya. Yeah, guys, I'm doing this weird like Jersey accent that I absolutely cannot stop. It's a Jersey or Long Island. You're a fucking idiot. That's why. And you think you're good at it, but you're not good at them. Long Island. Mm. I guess Long Island. Okay, so... I guess so. I guess so. What am I going to do? Oh, my God. If she spoke like that, there is no way I would ever be able to react to her. I just couldn't listen to her. Couldn't watch not one video she ever posted up. I mean, when you have that accent and it's your accent for real, different story. Sounds nice. But not on, not the way she's doing it. It's because I watched this guy on TikTok named Zachariah. Oh, All right, let's watch it. like her life revolves around TikTok. 24 hours a day. Yeah. Okay. See, and this is also like something super normal for people to do. I'm just really bad with blood. Like, this is not difficult. Like, this is how all these at-home tests work. It's hey, normal. I'm just... Hey, hey. You got this. Huh. All right, so um, we need right, to clean your face. Nice guy. I, I seriously don't know what he saw in her. And I, I mean that figuratively as well. Finger. And uh, first remember, we need to remember, write down... remember to wipe off the first drop of blood. Yes. We need to write this first. Um... Just so, like, why am I so squeamish with blood? If you're a nurse or a doctor, like, props to you, man. Or in the medical field at all. Ma'am? Jesus. Or a vet. Anything with blood. I'm just so bad. All right, I'm filling out these little cards. This pen is so out of ink. This pen's out of ink. 
Oh my god, we're gonna show. Should we just do this part later? <laughs> we don't down here. Do you have one upstairs? Her face is eating her nose up. I'm sorry. And, um, gee, I haven't mentioned him for a while. <laughs> oh, God, sorry, guys. Peter Griffin. I haven't mentioned him in a while. That's Peter Griffin right there, right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't do the accent. She put the water in her mouth, she puts it, pushes it around before she even swallows it. Oh, he brought selections. Phenomenal. Just fantastic. Thank you, Dolly. My name is so long. Like, I feel like I just have the longest name ever. I can go take my blood. All up to see our reactions. Reaction, yeah. okay, what are you going to do here? Do you need to watch the video again? Maybe. I've never used a lancet before. Here we go. Crack your finger. Remove the protective tip of the lancet by twisting and pulling. Make sure the thing you have a, a million times, and she, you mean to tell me she doesn't know how to prick her finger? Come on. Another lance. Then, then again, she's stupid, so. It's right side up. Right side up. See image on right? Okay, perfect. Place the tip of the lance is slightly off center. So, like to the side of the yeah. finger. Yeah. Day for her. For type 1 diabetes, you know? He's washing his thing? hands, he's ready. You're getting there soon. <laughs> You'll be there soon. You'll be a thing at it. A pro, just like your mum. I could take a little pain. Just they said you'll feel a small pinch. Big deal. Have you been stunned by a bee? Yeah. Okay. I also have four tattoos. Then you'll be okay. <laughs> tattoos. I got tattoos. I don't want to touch the gauze and disinfect it. Or disinfect it. All right, you ready? Which one are you gonna do first? Wh which one did you wipe again? I wiped these two. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, so if we're gonna do it there, I'm where's sweating. the gauze? Does she realize she has to give birth? <laughs> There's gonna be some blood. And she can't even prick her fucking finger. Right. I need to wipe away the first one. And then Which we have one? these little things. Oh, you're doing two of them? We have to do two. That's uh, why. So it's five to ten drops per each. Four to ten, but yeah. As long as we pass this first line, blood goes up to this line. It's why do all this bullshit when you can just go? It would have been done and dusted by now. It's gonna bleed into that, so it just has to hit this first line. Three. Two. Oh, it's not bad. Taking big breaths, big, big breaths. Because you know what? If I don't look at it, I'm all right. I'm okay. All right, go ahead. All right, all right. You just tell me where to go. I'm going to flip right, my... you're really not going to look at it? No, I'm not going to look at it. you got to guide me. Just oh, this is bad. Oh, my God. Where is her neck? Wow. Dead cat. Oh, sorry, not a dead cat. She sounds <laughs> sorry. Dead cats don't sing. Does that hurt? No, it doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't hurt at all. It's more just like the concept of knowing the blood is leaving my body right now and you're squeezing my finger to remove it. It's just right, that's one. One drop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so look, she's hopeless. Probably hear the rain. I went ahead and dropped off the fertility test and we eventually got there because I had two cards. I had to fill up two cards of blood, but we got there. I'm just so bad with blood. Like I faint almost every time I get my blood drawn. It's a problem. So, but I'm good now. It's hours later. Staying hydrated. Um, I got some groceries delivered just for a couple things that we were getting low on. Um, parchment paper. They were out of this bread. I have been dying to try this one point bread. It's called yeah. like 647 or something. But she doesn't like bread, guys. Look at this. Look at this I like right now. Ice cream. This is a new brand. Oh, it's from Nix. <laughs> I have a terrible <laughs> idea. You can't be from Long Island no, like I can't. me. And you're no. from New York. New, New York. He was, he was raised in New York. It's really you're good. You're trying all different types of No, but listen. Enlightenment. You're like Jerry Lewis. Oh, God, this is going to be an awkward moment again. When she's all over him, it just seems very, very awkward. Anyone else feel like that? 
Okay. But listen. Uh, well, and what's the other one? Halo top. Uh, Halo but top listen, and now next. Look at your wife. So, wow. Halo top was... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, five. Halo Top was the only one I heard of, right? Uh -huh. Then I saw it, and then I found out about Land, and now I heard about Nick's. Nick's. It's yeah. also light ice cream, right? Who's next, Bob's? <laughs> this is amazing. Get a spoon. I put mine already in there. Really? You just need one bite. One bite. It's the best one so far. <laughs> I, I saw Flocka, and I said, Cherry Chocolate Flame. <laughs> cherry Chocolate Flocka Flame. Flocka Flocka Chocolate Flocka Flame. Flocka Chocolate Flocka. It doesn't even look like cherry. Right, well, it doesn't have to. It's called artificial. Okay. Mmm. Um. Oh my god! It's the best one I've had. She's put in a whole mouthy vet! What a fucking pig! Oh my god! Well, I hope she's gonna eat all that now and run here. Oh, she just looks like a pig. This is just disgusting. Mm -hmm. It's creamy. Mm hmm. No, Out of white ice cream, I think this one might be the best. Oh my god, so he's actually eating from it and she's putting her tongue all over it. Because we're always on the hunt. We both have a little sweet tooth here and there. I have to take yeah. some good chocolate. No, she, look at her. Mm. Oh my God, that is disgusting. Who eats like that on camera? I didn't uh, buy that one yet, but they do have it. Can you imagine what she does when the camera's turned off? I mean. Mm. That's good. Because I love Cherry Garcia from Oh, that is disgusting. Her tongue has been all over and I'm just going to put it back in the freezer. Cherries? Cherry Garcia. Have you never had that flavor? I've never had that flavor. Anyways. Kale for my salads. Yeah. Oh, Bubba, finally. Tell them the funny story about this. So, Him and his freaking green juice. She went on Instacart and. I don't really care to hear about the green juice. You ask me. What's she trying to cook now? That's going to be a big disaster. Do you want it to be healthy or not? I can make it nasty. Oh, I can make it I'm sick. Not Jesus, girls. No, but it's curious. healthy. What types of cheeses do you add? Do you, do you no, add? I'm, I'm so offended. I can, my mom taught me the most amazing okay. grilled cheese. But go ahead. Her mom taught her the amazing grilled cheese. What a connoisseur she is. Leave your recipes. Go ahead. I'm just curious. I could make you the best grilled cheese of your life if you give me permission. <laughs> Don't take it personal, bro. Consider I'm, it I'm, taken. I'm, I'm... Bro? <laughs> Don't take it personal, bro. Cheating on a grilled cheese. I got it. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I am definitely in a <clears throat> baking mood. So I got this new mix from La Canto, La Canto, I'm not sure how to say it, but I bought in the past their sugar-free brownie mix and it's sweetened with monk fruit. So it's naturally flavored, two net carbs, dairy-free, keto-friendly, gluten-free, all that jazz. Um, and I want to make it because it is pumpkin spice season. So you can make either pumpkin spice muffins or bread. So I got my little bread tin here. I'm not into her cooking. Sorry, guys. Of course, he's going to say he likes it. So what is it? Pumpkin bread? Yeah, it's like naturally sweetened with monk fruit. Hold on. What's monk fruit? Monk fruit. It's like a natural sweetener. Mmm. It's yummy. I like it doesn't the. Doesn't even need the butter. No, I like the consistency of it. It's not super pumpkiny too, which is mm. nice. It's not overwhelming. But I feel like I could add like some. It cinnamon. has that full flavor. Yeah, some cinnamon. Yeah, yeah. Just a little mm. cinnamon. We don't even need butter. It would be really nice grilled up on the stove too. Mm. Mm -hmm. With breakfast. Oh yeah. This is bomb. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Very good. Wasn't much to do. It was easy. Really? Mm. Uh -huh. Give it a 9, ten, nine out of 10. A little no, cinnamon no, on it. No. Grill it up in the no. pan. Woohoo! All right, well, let's keep this. Just starting on a cooking show. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> oh, please. Please, Yaman. She doesn't need any more, um, you know, enticement. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that one price. She's going to eat that whole thing. So it was an anomaly, but. Thumbs up if you know about the pretzel situation. I am going to go get my first pumpkin spice latte. At Starbucks? Yep. Do they even have it? They're out. It's not even fall yet, dog. Yes, it is. You want me to get you one? Uh, or do you want anything there? No, I'm good. No, I'm oh, good. Did it, you guys see that? That was awkward. That was really awkward. He hugged her for like two seconds and then they got off it. It's raining. I know. Hey, if running in the rain is the best thing. I believe it, but like... It's freeing. It's just like... 
All right, rock on. All right, I just ordered my pumpkin spice latte. Oh my God. Uh, I am so sorry about this accent. And I hope it's Let's stop doing it. a good time. I personally like it. Um, no, we don't like it. You're annoying. They got a tall, which is the smallest size they have because I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I do. What was that? Called like a something chino frappuccino. Did she get it? And there is everyone come together. Ooh! Oh, this looks ah! This looks great. It's got ooh! It smells great. Mm. It's got like whipped cream and like a uh, cinnamon sprinkled. Woo! She smells fantastic. Mm. I want to like this. Being like the fall bitch I am, like, I think I deserve to like this. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. I don't understand why she tries to like things. I don't get it. You either like it or you don't. You don't have to force yourself to try and like it because it's popular. Hmm. If they could just subtract like 4% coffee. Because <laughs> I like the overall essence. It's got fall. Yeah, but now she'd drink it. All right. Let's see what she's got to say at the end here. Although I don't think it's much somehow but okay I like it this is hot tea and I have not had a cake pop in god knows how long okay. like it just sounded so good like sometimes yeah. you just have to treat yourself to a cake pop yeah it's great bariatric surgery is just what you need mm. Mm. I wonder if we can make like a WW cake pop I'm gonna look into that I'm fucking believable. Hacks everything. All right, guys. So I'm just hopping on here to wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know. Do you guys like? We didn't, and you were boring. Okay. <laughs> so let's go. Let's get rid of this one. Let's see if what I have in my little um, bag of goodies here. Um. Yeah, I like, okay, let's do this one. Like, please just know I don't have central air conditioning. Okay, this is a plus size haul. Oh, she's going to complain she's hot as usual. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. So I am doing a haul, quite a collective haul. Just some things I've accumulated over quarantine. I went through at the beginning of quarantine and donated a ton of clothing. Oh, you did. And I'm kind of doing a little bit of a re- Sure you did. We didn't see any donations, so it didn't happen. Unless we see it, we don't believe it. Revamp. Just some things I picked up. I thought I would do a big collective haul. You guys have been asking me to do more plus size try on hauls because it's actually been a minute. I haven't done one in kind of a while. So today's just gonna be a big mishmash mush try on haul collectively with random stores. So let's get started here. Um, I just pulled everything out because I've been keeping it in the closet waiting to do this with you guys. Okay, so it looks like- Can you guys imagine how much she spent over um uh COVID. can you imagine how much she spent <laughs> unnecessary because she was bored at home here i have a couple of things from american eagle i really love american eagle shorts so they do go up to a 24 and i get a 20 there i would say size up one size really i thought it was 19. especially on the ones with no stretch so first we have their curvy mom short which I already have a pair of and I love, but I picked them up in white. I don't even know why I'm wearing my hair down. Like when you do a try on haul, it, it's just hot. It's a hot, hot time. Get ready for me to do I did not know that bloody fans exist. Get a fan if you don't have central air conditioning. Get a bloody fan. They're not that expensive. Spend your money on everything else. All right, so here's the situation. With my other... No, it's, it's a horrible situation. It's a car accident. 
if you ask me. It's horrible. My parents the same way. They're just a little long for my liking. No, they're not long. They're too tight. They're long for her liking. She, if they're not eating up her vagina, she doesn't want to wear them. They just, they feel almost like Bermuda-esque. So with the last long. pair I got, because they have this. These are too long for her. For fuck's sake. They kind of cuff at the bottom. I ended up just cutting right above the cuff. And then I washed them and they came out really cute and like frayed. Because these already do have why, some though, why? I don't understand. Why would you want to show more of what's in here? I don't get it. I just don't. But these are super comfy. They're stretchy. I'm definitely going to keep these and do the same situation like I did with oh, the other pair. God. I also picked up just this really cute little crappie tube top here, which I would definitely wear with a nude strapless bra. I know this looks absolutely ridiculous with this bra on, but um, it's cute. It's ruched. It's got the little lettuce cut. It's ruched. Um, and for anyone who's going to ask, my bra is from True & Co. Um, I get the extra large, and I'll link below, below the one that I wear. It's probably the best bra I've seen her in. I don't, I don't think it has much of a lift, though, but at the back, it covers everything. And if she wears something, you don't see any bulges. It's so comfortable. We also have a box from Forever 21, and this is old. Like, I ordered this at the beginning of quarantine, so... Hopefully they'll still have some of it on their site and I can link it for you. Oh, this is so cute. So we have a jumpsuit here. So this jumpsuit is everything. If you stood further back, you wouldn't have to put your knee up in such a ridiculous position for us to see. Um, I love it. I got it in a 3X and I feel like I maybe could have got a 2X, but... Well, surprisingly, don't mind that one on her. Um, it's really cute. I love the wide... But putting your knee up. It's fucking irritating. Tie. And honestly, the material feels amazing. It's like super luxurious. There you go. Super luxurious. Do you, all go, do you guys know what that means? That the material means? She couldn't, God forbid, just have a look at the tag and tell us what the material is made out of. It's like, it's like heavy, but not like uncomfortably. You know, it's just like good quality. And it is like a really cute square neckline, which I love. My bra is kind of messing it up, but this is so cute. Love it. It's like such a good material. So cute. Love that. Next year, we got a little t-shirt dress. So I love stuff like this for either sleeping in or you can throw it on with some. It's not a t-shirt dress for you. It's definitely a nightie that you'd go to bed in. It's not a t-shirt dress. Really cute sneakers. Like this would look so cute with some white tennis shoes or no. an oversized denim jacket. No, 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 no. It's just for use for bed for you. Get on a cooler night, but I just love easy stuff like this. Of course, we're in quarantine, so I'll probably... You know she wants it to fit like a dress, but it's not going to. I wear this to the grocery store or to my living room, but... Um, I love easy breezy kind of t-shirt dresses like this and it's, all it's ugly too. Always great for a nightgown. Oh my god, I love this. From Forever 21 Plus, we're still on. This is a skirt. Shorts in the back, skirt in the front. I hate the way she says that word. Front. Yes. So I'm wearing black underwear. I hope you can't tell. I bet you can. I would definitely wear this with nude underwear, of course. I think you would because you have no fucking shame. It looks too small on you. But this skirt is life. I definitely had something like this a long time ago. Comment if you remember. It might have been, I don't know where it was from, but I had a skirt like this. Actually, I think, <laughs> I think it was from 21 Plus, but um, this is so, so cute. It looks so no. good with a crop top. Or some sort of blouse tucked in. Oh my god. No. So summery. And I love that it has pockets. And there's nothing better than having the shorts underneath. Yeah, you and know? you can so see that she's got fucking change your underpants. You know you're going to wear white. Squirt. We love protection. Crazy. And it's stretchy. So, like, it's super comfortable. Ooh. Okay. I wish I opened this box earlier. But, like, I was saving it to do a collective haul with you guys. But this dress is so cute. Let me put it on. Um, I'll link what I can. If not, I'll try to find really similar things for you guys. But this dress, come on. This is so amazing. I love how it comes over to this edge here and like twists into a cute little side tie. And then underneath, it's kind of got like an overlay, like the underskirt. I don't mind that one on her. 
Because it covers her legs. Goes to here, and then it has like this ace. Um, I love the 21. They are just high waisted black shorts. The top, a crop top, they're a staple pair of shorts. I'm sure if you guys have been following me for a while, you have seen me wear those countless times every year. We have a few things from ASOS, but she's, even oh, I remember, um, she's above from them anymore. I got this bathing suit and it was a little bit tight, which was such a bummer because it's so cute like it's looks like a bra um i'm gonna keep it though maybe it will fit by the end of summer who cares if not big deal but the color is so pretty and it came with i don't think it ever fit by summer matching shorts matching high-waisted shorts or bikini bottoms okay and then i have been on the hunt for a month they're not shorts they're bikini bottoms for an iconic blazer i don't own a blazer this one is from river island which is a great brand let's see how it fits you know when you immediately put it on you can tell if it's going to be good or bad i think it's good okay it's definitely not a vibe with this dress <laughs> but it fits exactly it's so fucking weird it actually doesn't look bad with the dress she doesn't know what looks good on her and what doesn't it's actually not bad it suits her in all the right places and it's fitting her perfectly how i wanted it to fit because like the sleeves they're not full length but they naturally kind of just look like that scrunched look which is what i was going for and it's kind of like the perfect oversized fit like this ugh, you could dress this up it's not oversized it fits you perfectly it's not over fucking sized with some high-waisted denim shorts a nice plain black tee and this with some she wants to wear that blazer that looks like a classy blazer over fucking denim shorts so dumb she is. Some really cute shoes and gold jewelry. Oh, it also has little gold detailing here. Okay, I'm so happy because I really wasn't sure how this was going to fit, but it's exactly what I was looking for. You're calling it oversized. It's not oversized. It's your size. I feel like we all need a blazer in our wardrobe, but like it's really hard to find one that fits the way you want to, especially when you're plus. I've been getting a lot of requests lately to do a torrid haul. And I ordered some stuff at the beginning of the summer. So let's dive into Torrid now. Um, okay, this is what I am most excited about because now I can wear this officially. So I got this wifey. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like back in the day, I think it was early 80s. You used to give stuff like that to people who were married on with their um don't know if you guys did that in America, but here we used to do it um for their towels, his and hers, or husband and groom. Who the fuck wears this stuff now? Wifey. Just because she cannot believe she's married, she's elated that she's married denim jacket if you guys are new here and you don't know i just eloped a month ago i got married we decided to elope because we had to push our wedding for a year because of corona so our official wedding celebration with our family is next year but we just eloped the hair's going up i can't oh, do this so no. this denim jacket is so cute it has no. little pearl details i hate pearl up here and it's a really nice material it's like gotten she would never be able to get back into that never nice stretch to it the back of course says wifey with more of those pearls i usually wear my denim jackets open but you definitely could close it but i love it i love it so much um, <laughs> and like i said like a denim jacket looks so cute with this dress so i just i just had to i had to have a corny moment drink break oh my god this bikini so cute guys this is such a cute bathing suit it's just i don't mind that on her i think it's quite nice she should wear stuff like that more often got rainbow stripes but it's like black underneath we can see that and it's really nicely fitted like the back has a lot of oh my god finally finally she'll bathe this suit that works coverage which i love because sometimes it can be so annoying <laughs> like the back of a bikini top kind of digs into your fat rolls so i got the top in a 3x and the bottom in a 2x and it fits really really nicely oh i don't want to i don't want to take it off i picked up a few kind of like basics 
from Torrid. So I just got this cute little plain blush tank top. Like this would just look so cute as like a hang around the house top, um, tucked into some cute oh, shorts. Tank top. You don't need to tell us how to fucking wear it. Or that uh, white skirt I showed you. This could go with so much. It's pretty basic. I won't bother to try it on. Um, I also love getting different bikini tops I can match with. Some plain black high-waisted bottoms that I already have. So we have another bikini top. So this top is everything. I love it. It's so just like flattering and cute and easy. I love how it has this little cut out here. So the tie is above it, the little hole. It's got really nice support, but it's just like comfortable too. All that support in the back as well. I like it because it, it supports her and it fits her well. Coverage rather, but this is such an easy, great bikini top to have with some cute little high-waisted black bottoms. Okay, so this bikini combo, so cute i mean come on so this top again the same amazing coverage as the last two bikini tops and i went ahead and ordered these bottoms with it i don't know if it was meant to go like that but the colors were kind of similar and i didn't see any uh, bikini yeah i'm not a fan of that i'm not a fan of the bottoms bottoms that matched this otherwise but i don't hate the combination i wish it was like a little more spot on <laughs> but like this color kind of similar but either way it's still a really fun suit i love the top and the bottoms are so flattering with this like ruching like the ruching goes around here too so it just it feels really good on the body Ooh, and i also got a one piece i need like a plain black one piece oh these are yes so you do these are some cups these cups have a big old pad this is a push-up bra okay so this suit is super think that looks good in it. so it's got all of this ruching in the front the cups guys this is a literal bra. <laughs> like, it does have the padding underneath. Removable. That's probably why we never saw her wear it. Because it's like a literal bra. Well, but it's literally got the support of like a push-up bra. So if you need a little extra lift or you want that, um, this is for you. It's got the cute little knotted tie. So there like is, it. as you can see, like a little strappy to clip together. And it will help this kind of be more supported. But I can't reach it. But overall, um, I think it's a really nice plain black suit and it just it does it feels very very secure i like it oh and i also just picked up a pair of plain black bikini bottoms um you can never have too many of these these are like that kind of coral color where it has all that ruching around it she loves so that word. these are just like always she loves that word ruching the staple um i get pretty much everything in a 2x unless i say otherwise oh my god they had halter tops and this just like took me back to being like middle school. I mean, you're gonna want to wear this with a strapless bra, but like, doesn't this just take you back? Let's let's pull down the straps. I know this looks a little wonky. Oh, God, that's what she wears now. But like, oh, come on, a halter top. <laughs> Memories. They had so many different colors. They had a lot of really good basics like this, like tank tops, t-shirts, halter tops, like on the trendier side, like this one too. It's kind of like that, um, but it's cropped. It's that same kind of blushy pink. Just this cute little crop top here. I love that. Um, I got this one in a 3X. Not sure why. Crop top, but it comes down a little bit longer since I sized up on it, but just really cute. Um, How about one day you actually go to Zion National Park? And that way you can have a t shirt from there. You can actually walk around and see how beautiful it is. Zion National Park is just beautiful. Oh, some nice little high waisted denim shorts. And the last top from Torrid is this gorgeous one. I had this in the cart for like days and I just could not put it down. It's the colors. Like it I like that very much. It suits her. It was just too hmm. pretty not to get out of that. the off the shoulder. And it's like a knit ribbed material. It's pretty normal in length. It's got like. Step further back so we can see what it looks like. Nice, really soft, cozy stretch to it. Like, it's just like such a pretty, cozy top. This would look really cute with that white squirt. And I did pick up. Oh, when she says that fucking word, squirt. 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 These sandals because I love towards shoes. They're nice and wide. They run a little bit big. I'm usually a size 10. In a few years, I do a big Nordstrom anniversary. It's such a pretty dress. That's all right. Like, it has just such. And we have these really cute little, but it fits perfectly. Oh my god, that's so cute! Yeah, I don't want to take it off. 
It's, it's funny she can actually admit that it fits perfectly and it does. Adorable. So of course right now we're all obsessed with tie-dye. So one of my favorite brands that I buy from Nordstrom is called BP. It's one of their more affordable brands. I just picked up this kind of oversized no. cozy sweater. I'm no. in my underwear, don't mind me. No, it's not oversized. My God. Does she ever say, I bought this in my size? No, it's, they all have to be oversized. It's not oversized. But it's just like super, super soft and cozy. This is so great for quarantine and great for going into the fall and winter now. But I just, I love the colors. I wish you could feel the material because that kind of sells it for me. Um, it's just super, super duper soft. So it has that kind of nice oversized fit it's to not it. And it's hella oh cozy. God. If oh. it's not glued to her fucking skin, if it's not glued to her skin, she will call it oversized. Hold the phone. I'm an idiot. Um, this comes with matching joggers. Oh my god. Nah. Gosh. Just way too much. Oh this is so cozy. No. Oh no, it's way too much. With the oh my pen. gosh. So I love when I'm just like lounging. There you go. If I have on like an oversized. How else is she not gonna show this area? How else is she not going to show this area? She has to do a tuck in just to show her beautiful figure off. Top with like joggers. I'll just tuck the front just to make it feel a little more put together. But it's not. Oh, I. Testing. Oh, this is so soft. And the joggers are the same material as the top. So. Well, you, yeah, you'd think so. It's a set. So they're not going to make the joggers a different material. So cozy. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. Like, please just know I don't have central air conditioning. So when I do this. The room is 74. And we have a couple more things. Buy a fan. Things from Nordies. So Ugh, leopard. This is from a brand called Sanctuary. We have this gorge leopard. No, it's not gorge, it's ugly. Midi dress. Midi My skirt. God, I hate that pattern. This even looks cute with just this little bralette. It's a really nice material, uh, a 2X in this little stretchy waist here. Really nice length, too. I'm like really into the midi trend, you know. It doesn't look bad on her. Between a mini and a maxi, it's just like the perfect length. It just feels very romantic with the denim jacket. Oh my God. Lastly, we have this top from this, this denim jacket. Every outfit she's worn so far, she's said to everybody to put a fucking denim jacket on it. Every outfit. This top is stunting. So this has no stretch. I got it in a 3X. You could probably get This top is stunting. Do you mean stunning? a two um or i could have gotten a two i mean because it definitely has a lot of room but it's just so beautiful. no it's your size beautiful i love the rough Any smaller you can see it's her size from here any smaller your buttons will pull from the front it goes around to the back it has really beautiful embroidery all the god no it reminds me of a doily over it a little eyelet detailing uh, it fits really nicely. This will look so cute with some jeans and like those macrame sandals or some platforms. I would definitely wear a white, not white, a nude colored bra for my skin tone just to match because it's kind of see. Yeah, she would, but she's not going to now because she's lazy. Through. I'm a sucker for a white blouse in the summer. Let me just throw the air conditioner on my face before I outro this. All right, guys, I'm sitting here sweating hard in front of this air conditioner right now. What the fuck? Didn't she turn it on if she's got one in the room? What a moron. That's it for this huge collective haul. What an idiot. I hope you guys. What an absolute idiot. She has one there and doesn't turn it on. Fucking how dumb is she? All right, let's do one more. Seeing I, I don't get to sleep till two or three in the morning anyway, because I can't sleep on my back. Very frustrating. I might as well do another one. Uh, okay, let's delete that one. All right, this is a random one. Another random one. Weekend in Virginia. Yes. Rise and shine. It said weekend in Virginia. So. These are all three or four years old, guys, these ones. Okay. It is 5.38 in the morning. <laughs> and I am heading to the airport. And I know you're like, where are you going? So I am actually going to Virginia because <laughs> Yarman is at an army training there and he has the weekend off. It's actually like a really quick flight. He was like, why don't you just fly down? And I was 
also known as going to check up on my husband. <laughs> I was like, okay, ain't gotta tell me twice. I've never been to Virginia and I looked up the weather and it looks like it's actually gonna be like while I'm there, high 70s and I'm like, mm. Kind of kill it, kind of killing my fall vibe, Virgin. Um, but you know, it'll be a fun little adventure, a little weekend. Bruno is going with my mom. Those necklaces look horrible. And that top she's got on was ugly. And we're going, we're going to Virginia. I'm contemplating if I want to put on a baseball hat, but also that kind of makes me hot. But it's like, oh my god, fucking hell, she's upset. I used to think oh, I got hot. Nothing compared to her. An airport aesthetic, you know what I mean? I am wearing that new cropped top I got from Target. It's ugly. It's like cropped, but like textured. It's really cool. Um, I just took the dog for a walk. I actually thought about driving down to Virginia with the dog. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's a long day. Long day for Bruno. But yeah, that's what we're gonna get up to for the next few days. And I actually have another trip planned planned next week too. So a lot of fun vlogs ahead. Let's go to the airport. Many hours later. Okay, I'm at the airport. <laughs> I made it. I just made it. It was. Let me guess. She's bought snacks. It's a struggle, but I stopped and got a banana, some nuts, mm. and we're off. I'm here. I'm in Virginia. Get your arm down. <laughs> so, um, I really did oh, not. That looks horrible. Sorry, guys. I just don't like that hat, her round face, and that top and that necklace is horrendous. I didn't get to vlog much this morning, which feels like days ago, because I hit so much traffic going to Logan. Um, if you are from the Boston area and you've flown out of Logan, I didn't even really put together that like the rush hour traffic because I was like, oh, I'm going to beat rush hour traffic. And I am in fit leggings, that top, my hat, my Hoka sneaks. I put him onto these protein shakes. He brought this down. He got some snacks. Oh, he's so cute. He's like, I bought us popcorn so we can watch Game of Thrones. Mm. And here is our view. But she bought it, not him. It's kind of majestic, honestly. Many hours later. All right, you guys, it is many hours later. Look who I'm with. I am with my boo. Uh, I haven't seen him in like a week. So it's good to see my boo. Well, she has a meltdown when she doesn't see him because she gets so freaking insecure and she has to sleep with that huge teddy bear. Baby, we took a little rest and we did a tour of the military base. So well, I got to see it because I've never seen it. And now we're heading into Richmond for dinner, which is like 30 minutes away for a little date night. Um, Yar has the next few days off of his class. So we get to have a fun few you know when you're going to dinner with your husband, it doesn't have to fucking be called date night. It's called being married. It's what you do. Days, we were looking for fuck's sake. Looking at some fun stuff to do in the area. Um, there's some folly things and just like exploring and hanging out. Um, I, God, if I went up to my husband and said to him, come on, let's have a date night tonight and go out. He'd look at me like I came from fucking... Mars or something. So like, what do you mean date night? Let's just go out for dinner. <laughs> Call it what it is. Exactly. Fucking hell, date night. As you guys know, this is my first time in Virginia. But we're going to go to dinner at like one of the top places. Yar has put me on to TripAdvisor. Like that's the spot. Even if you're like a local somewhere and you're looking for a good place to go. I search everything on TripAdvisor. You yeah. are a TripAdvisor king and I love it. You put me on because I did not realize how manipulated the reviews are on like Google reviews and stuff. Like um, I didn't know like people can remove bad reviews. So, somebody told me that you can delete. Yeah, like, who told the, us the, that? The person that has the account could delete the reviews. The bad reviews. No, you can't. No. 
views. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Don't okay. don't hold us to that. Fact check us. I don't know. But um, if you want like the real tea, okay, cause hear me out. A lot of places will have five stars on Google, four point five stars, and then you check their Yelp and it's like two stars. Yeah. Like it's like um. We have to cross check this. We gotta cross check this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we checked. TripAdvisor and Yelp are like the two best places for like legit reviews. Um, so yeah, we were looking at restaurants. Guys, if it deserves five stars. All right, we are in the city, baby. Welcome to downtown. I'm excited. I love exploring new cities. All right. Now you couldn't tell because we don't see any of them. Want to find parking? Oh God, where do people? Oh, what's these? Your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Park. Public parking over here. Okay. Let's do that. All right. I can't turn here. <laughs> see you never. <sighs> This is so cute. It's such a vibe. Fatty smokes. That had to be barbecue. That was like nope, giving. Turn left here. Okay. What the heck? What is this? <laughs> you can't turn around anywhere. Should this you take New a New Jersey where you can't turn left? Should you take Have a you heard of that? No. You can't turn left in New Jersey? I don't think so. Oh god. Don't fact check me on that. All right, we finally got a is spot this to you turn. I don't think it was illegal. No. Let's go. Well, it's on camera, so <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know, fun is boring. I I like keeping this because I like seeing the scenery. <laughs> As I said that, she turned the camera to her face. <laughs> How about a state plates? Okay. We just. I forgot. Yarman. I didn't forget. I just didn't know. Yarman just went down a one way to get into this parking lot, and like there was no one. It's a quiet road. There was no one, but it was just really funny. He's like, "Oh shit, this is a one way," but we're here. We're in the parking lot. We made it to the parking lot. Yep, that's what we want to see. So we don't want to see what's in front of you in the scene. We want to see your fucking toes. Look how cute. Such a vibe. <laughs> you guys, it's such a vibe in here. Like, I love it. It's so pretty. All right, we are sharing the burnt ends, which is like brisket and some cornbread. Looks so good. You guys, I just took my first bite. It's insane. Yara's gonna try his. It's so good. It's like butter. It just melts in your mouth. Yum. That does look good. Right? I know. I know. So good. Okay, you guys. Back in the room. Dinner was... 10 out of 10. Not five stars, 10 stars. 10 stars. For sure. 10 stars. It was so good. Like, words just can't even describe. That was the best piece of meat. She's been eating something because she's still chewing on something there. I hate when she does that. The food was so good. It was like melt in your mouth meat and. <laughs> Apart, like just, it just pulled apart. Like, yeah, no, that's, not, that's what she said. Well, that's what she said. <laughs> the thing is, that's perfect with me and Yar now. I, I can't eat much at all from my surgery. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I had to laugh at that. <laughs> I had to laugh at that. You most certainly can now just the perfect perfect amount i still oh, for the most part like funny. i try to eat mostly healthy like protein based things like that but we still love to share fun foods yeah. so that was amazing so delicious i'm not even gonna go there i'm not gonna repeat anything i'm just not you guys know it all you you've been with us <laughs> we are going to watch game of thrones and go oh, to bed really and, How romantic. Uh, elliptical which i do a lot but like I have, I, I'll own it. I have not been doing enough strength at all. I've been on my card. Hey. Video grind, not strength. So I did a bunch of, we go to Waffle House, baby. I've never been to Waffle House. Oh. She speaks of Waffle House and um, the Peloton and training all in one sentence. Yellow light. Yellow light. And it just like, I saw signs for it. You see them everywhere. And I, coming from the airport, I saw signs and I was just like, Waffle House. I want to try Waffle House for the first time. So... Yeah, Yara's had it before. I have not, but we're gonna go check it out, and I'm gonna give you guys my my Waffle House review. And uh, we're I, would love to, I would love to send this to her surgeon. This video here, 
Send it to her surgeon. We're hungry. We did not eat yet. It's I would love to know he did her surgery. 9.30. We got up and just went straight to the gym. So let's go check out Waffle House. All right. Let's do it. But see, I don't understand that. What What is the point? What is the point of going there and then coming and eating this? So you, you really have, you've, you haven't lost, you haven't put on, you've stayed the same. Or maybe you have put on. Oh, we know that's his. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> She's going to say no. Look how she starts dancing to it. Okay, honestly, first Waffle House experience was a 10 out of 10. Everyone down here is so nice. Like, just, I look, I look a little cuckoo, but everyone down here is so nice and just so friendly and sweet. Um, and the food was honestly really good. The gravy. Why are you was, laughing? was fire. And we ordered a waffle to share and he brought us two waffles, which was really sweet. But I felt bad because I couldn't eat a lot of mine. Um, but honestly, delish. What's your rating? Beautiful. It's been a while since I had it. It's been like, I don't know, six, seven years. I'm not going to listen to her chewing. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. What's wrong with her guy? I have to pause this a little bit. Forgot about the bloody music. Over the bridge to the historical area. We have a map. We got tickets and we can go into like all these different historical places like <gasps> houses and... I would love to do that. Uh, museums. Yeah, it's going to be cool. I think this is honest. And I want to go to Gettysburg as well. It's like going to be like a really fun day. It's a pretty walk. You can take the bus, but we chose to walk and it's really quite pretty. All right. Almost there. We're going to go into the court for a courting. A court hearing. Court hearing. For a courting. They're going to need volunteers. For a courting. Fuck, she's ignorant. So like uh, everyone is going to get assigned a role so i'm like i'm anxious <laughs> oh fuck off anxious guys look it's house lannister <laughs> every day when we watch game of thrones yarman just giggles and he's like i made you a nerd <laughs> i love it the sheeps. Sheepy. Come on, give us something. More footage than is. You kidding me? Let's check it out. This door was made in 17. Parents, hang on. Our apprentice store. Original building. Merchant William. Parents. So I'm reading without my glasses. Something construction of this store. Something his family managed. Uh, something. Until 1779, this is the oldest commercial building in town. Wow. 40, the oldest commercial building in town. Wow. So cool. She's such a faker, she couldn't care less. Am I doing it wrong? Oh my God. 
cider spices. Oh, I love all that stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, wow. Cobblers. Wait, I reckon I just want to bet. You remember the bet we did in New York, guys, where we bet if I could keep up a British accent? I just did it for 30 minutes. Oh, fuck off. And now I get to pick where we eat for dinner. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's a marriage-friendly bet. It's a very marriage-friendly bet. Um, but you know what? At the end of we've been walking around um for like hours at the end of this like main road is called merchant square which is like stepping into the 21st century like shops and restaurants it's really cute so here is this side so you got your pig they have a lulu lemon oh great yeah they have like stores I, I wanted to grab <gasps> i'm sorry to interrupt you Chris. look where she is and she's worried about fucking having lululemon Christmas shop. Yeah, let's check that out. Christmas shop. Yeah. It's so cute. I love it over here. Huge gummies. Oh my god, there's so much like fun stuff in here. These are all like old school candy, right? She has to ask him. Bacon, buffalo wing, like a bunch of old school candy. Good morning. Wow, look at that. That sun <laughs> coming in hot from the window. Um, I am going to get ready because it's much cooler today. So I'm going to put on some makeup because I want to take an outfit pick or something. Well, I'm not watching you get ready. That's for bloody sure. Not a chance when we went to Thank you. Thank you. Does that not sound so it good? Sounds delicious. It sounds like a million dollars. Right. They have like fall menu just, here, just, guys. Just just read that description. It sounds so good. Oh I love it in here. And we didn't have to wait. Yay. Right. She just ignored him. He said to her read that description. She just totally blew him off. Alright, I got some avocado toast with eggs. Here's Yar's situation. Looks so yummy. Their avocado toast is so good, but I'm gonna also put on some hot sauce. All right, y'all, we just had breakfast. It was <laughs> delicious. <laughs> it's an inside joke. It was really good. I had avi toast with eggs, and oh, it was so good. I love the first watch. Bread is so thick. Now we are going a bit lucky head. because it was on the way. And we're gonna go to Kerry Town, I believe it's pronounced. It's Kari Town, probably Kari Town. I don't know. It's C A R Y Town. It's just like a little area in Richmond. It's supposed to have like just like a fun area to walk around, like with shops and restaurants and things. So we're gonna check it out and see what it's about. Check it out. Check it out. See what it's about. Mm, 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 mm. Bingo. Bang. Bongo. Oh my god. Like we're so used Fuck, to I can't stand her. I know. Look at that building. That's gorgeous. Ooh. I'm definitely I'm definitely being the tourist driving 15 miles an hour and everyone else is just passing. <laughs> I know. Hey, at least we've got out of state plates. Yeah. Okay, update. This road is so long. There's so much and it's wicked cute. Like it really is so cute. Wow. Yeah, so I think we should do another loop and like assess where we want to park yeah. and what we want to do but i saw some parking spots but i just didn't want to we wanted there. to probably see how far we should go but there were so many cute stores and restaurants i think it goes on further i don't know it's beautiful over here like i really like yeah. richmond that's character a lot of character it's gorgeous get out and walk get out and bloody walk it and be hot <laughs> so i didn't wear my super cute sweater 
and um, I just have on like a tank and a denim jacket and it's really really cold but hey I'd much rather be cold than hot shout out to my fellow fatties who hate to be hot look at that stud walking Charming. The, uh, hot ass biatch we got some primo parking and look at we got a little foliage gorgeous yeah we're just gonna do a little walking around catch the vibe guys i'm obsessed with the way this looks like i can't get over it i want to live there it's so pretty everything is decorated for halloween which makes me happy all right i want to check out this apothecary looks really cute smell. i love places like this they always smell beautiful They're expensive, but they smell beautiful. Yeah, it's quality stuff, though, most of the time. Oh, God. Cuddle with her. Oh, for the love of God. Lakely made. She should support him. Pizza and fried chicken. <laughs> As it all. As got it all. it all. I got some stuff at the apothecary. I'll show you guys in the car. They've got a movie theater here called The Bird. I heard about this. And they play like a bunch of like old movies. I don't believe new movies. I could be wrong, but it's really cool. I don't totally know what it is, but it looks really cool. She go in the cup. I was just gonna say, did she go in the cupcake place? Cupcakes. We don't want it now, but we're gonna bring it back. Of course you are. Hello. Keep in mind, this is after bariatric. Not long after either. Oh, they're all... Look at that little ghosty. I don't, I don't know why she bothered. Why bother? Oh, they're so cute. They're all Halloween-y. Not Halloween. It's Halloween. Not hollow. That just sounds so good, though. Many hours later. All right, so I thought I'd show you guys what I picked up from that apothecary store. I think I'm going to put these on now while we watch Game of Thrones. Um, I got this hand moisture pack from a brand called Coco Star. And she said it was really good. That's you guys. Yeah. And, then, um, and then I'll come home. Yara will come home and life will presume on. But travel vlog number one, check. Oh. And next time I'll see you, we'll be on the way to Philly. Oh, God, she's irritating. All right, my loves, this is it for now. So I'm going to get off here now, uh, get this ready for you guys to post, and I am going to, I'm so looking forward to just relaxing now and listening to um, Tara from Country Shade. I have not watched her react yet. I can't wait. Um, so now I know how you guys feel when you sort of, you know, you're excited to about mine. So I love it when Tara posts. I'm like, yes, she's posted. I'll be able to relax tonight and watch it. Um, all right, my lovelies, I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, please leave me a comment below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this compilation of um, some boring, some interesting, some whatever. It's whatever she gave us to work with. <laughs> all right, my loves. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.